hello precious blessings welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here today my name is joe Fajer precious and this channel is all about fashion makeup and lifestyle if you think that's a cup of tea go ahead smash that subscribe button also click the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video for all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and the support thank you for joining the family once again so in today's video as you have seen by the title i'm going to be showing you guys my makeup product i'm going to be showing you guys my makeup kit basically so first thing first i store my makeup in a box let me tilt the camera so that you guys can be able to see and not see my beautiful face i don't know I store my makeup in this box. Ew, it's heavy. Oh, yeah. In this box that I got from... I got this box from Mr. Price. <laughs> okay, let me remove these things that just gave me. Alright, cool. I store my makeup in this box. This box is huge, okay? So I bought this box for the purpose of storing my makeup. I love when my things are organized and are in place. Mm -hmm, that's me. But disclaimer, this box is nice and all packed up inside because I haven't been doing my makeup in a very long time. The reason why I'm not doing my makeup now is because my skin is going through the most, guys, as you can see. So I went to a doctor and then he gave me some medication. So I was like... I don't want to interrupt the process. Let me just wait up until I can see my skin is starting to clear up. And then I'm going to go ahead and start applying makeup again. Because now, like, it's spring. I wanted to create some fire spring looks. But I can't do that because the skin is not cooperating. So, anyway, let's get into the video. Um, So, this is my box inside, right? I'm going to put this lid over here this is how it looks inside maybe i should put you guys over there right yeah so you guys can have a full view of the inside of the box all right cool so this is how it looks inside when you open it it's all put together because i haven't been doing my makeup all my um, makeup sponges, my beauty blenders, my brushes, everything is clean. Everything, everything is clean. So, I'm not trying to put you guys under pressure that your stuff is not clean and mine is all clean and put together. I know, child. I know. Like, we all have those days when your things are not just put together because you don't have time or you've been doing a lot. So, I'm not judging anybody, but when you have time, make sure that everything it's organized the first thing that i'm gonna start okay i'm going to categorize these things because you know that's how i work <laughs> that is the only way i'll be able to focus and not leave things on the side okay so let me remove this thing oh, let me put it here. cool so i'm going to start with my eyeshadow palette this is the first eyeshadow palette that i have I'm sure you guys have seen it, have seen a glimpse of it once or twice. So this is the inside of the palette. It's a very huge palette that I got from Marawa's dad. And this is how it looks basically. Okay. I love this palette. I love the pigment. It's so nice and it has a lot of of spring colors it has a lot of colorful colors <laughs> and i just love it i bought this because i had a makeup gig at at northwest so i needed a, uh, an eyeshadow palette that had a lot of colors as compared to the ones that i have so this made sense and it did the job nice and perfect so it has let me see if it's written as to how many colors it has no it's not written but it's just a lot of colors one two three four five six seven eight nine so mm -hmm. Mix. mathematics but yeah this is the first eyeshadow palette that i own and then the second one 
it's this one i got this one from this cam i got this one last year around this time i think yeah last year september and this is how it looks inside it has this mirror and this shades lovely shades over here it's also colorful and nice and it has it is arranged so nicely that your browns are there your greens there your pinky and purples it's just so nice i love it but the pigment ugh, the colors are so powdery like the shades are so powdery that's one thing i hate about this palette and the pigment is not giving it's not giving as it's supposed to give but i do use this palette here and there when i need maybe my greens or my pinky or my purple so i would tap into this palette but other than that it's a nice one for for a makeup beginner you know <laughs> because it has your browns it has all different colors that you can play around with so it's nice it's from beauty treats at this camp and i got it for 95 rand. and the next palette the next palette i had is this one i love love this palette i love this palette i got it you guys remember when i got this palette because i did a review of these products so this is the palette that i have the third palette that i have and then it's by lingili tabete and scarlet hill you can get this from mr price i unfortunately i don't remember for how much i got this palette but this is how it looks inside you guys are familiar with it i'm not gonna talk a lot about it i just love it and i love the pigment i just love everything about it it's nice it's giving it's not too colorful it's giving those down-to-earth neutral looks and i love it the fourth one that i have it's my all-time favorite i love this palette actually i believe in this palette more than i believe in myself yeah that's how bad it is <laughs> i've had this palette for like two years now if i'm not wrong or oh, one and a half year from makeup revolution at clicks i love this palette because it has got all the colors that i want and the pigment it's so rich and creamy so the reason why i always tap into this palette is because it never disappoints it never disappoints so if you would like to get yourself a nice palette especially for a beginner i would encourage you to go get this one because the pigment doesn't disappoint and also the colors are not too colorful very very perfect for someone who's just started with applying makeup or applying eyeshadows now i'm going to move to this one over here oh let me remove it from this thing i don't know why i keep stuff inside plastics okay this is my the, my most uh beautiful looking eyeshadow palette <laughs> these colors are giving galaxy vibes guys <laughs> i just love it and the colors inside they are so pretty this is also by makeup revolution one thing about me if you have noticed i die for makeup revolution products because they never disappoint they are drugstore products that are just there and giving what they're supposed to give okay like makeup revolution really do understand the assignment from their concealers their foundation and their lipsticks and their oh my goodness their eyeshadow palettes i'm not even gonna ramble a lot so this is how the eyeshadow palette looks inside it has got these colorful colors because as you can see from the outside from the packaging it's giving galaxy vibes it's giving stars it's giving glamour it's giving oh my gosh my word play it's not so good but it's giving what it's supposed to give okay so this is how it's looking inside and i've used it quite um not a lot <laughs> but i've used it and i loved the pigment i die when it comes to eyeshadow palette i always die for the pigment if the pigment it's it's flop then the eyeshadow palette is a flop so it has to give you know it has to give so this is how it's looking inside and i love it mm -hmm. i love it that's it let's move to the next the next eyeshadow palette that i own and that i love it's by mr price this is the first makeup product that i bought from mr price since they launched their scarlet hill beauty products so this is the first product that i bought and i am in love 
with this palette also the pigment is a flop i mean not the pigment the shades are powdery like you get more eyeshadow falls but i mean it's mr price but i love the pigment the pigment is so nice and as you know me i always love to keep this plastics guys because mr price doesn't write their eyeshadow names on the palette itself but they prefer to write it on this on this plastic thingy so i just keep it so that when i do my makeup on camera i can easily refer to the names of the shades so that is the main reason why i keep the plastic so this is how it looks inside you guys are familiar with it i've used it before on the channel and it's a lovely one i love the glitters i just love the combination of glitters and the normal powdery eyeshadows <laughs> yeah so this is how it looks outside it's glittery outside and it's giving this rose gold color it's so nice it's gay it's feminine and i love it the next eyeshadow palette that i have is this one you guys have not seen this one before if i'm not mistaken i got this one last year from essence cosmetics at clicks this palette i haven't used it before it's still new i bought it last year but i haven't used it before and the colors are so, are so nice so i don't know why i haven't used this palette before or it's because i was obsessed with the makeup revolution one i guess actually the main main reason why i got this eyeshadow palette last year i loved it i loved the color inside don't get me wrong the main reason was i wanted to shoot a video uh doing a makeup look by product from essence cosmetics only so unfortunately <laughs> it didn't happen it never happened so that's why i haven't used this palette i guess but this is how it looks inside the colors are just down to earth and i know that essence cosmetics never disappoint so i tried to swatch the colors when i got the palette to see the pigment and i was in love with the pigment so maybe once i get back to doing makeup again i will remember this palette and use it i think i got it for 150 or 159 but it's not pricey and it's a nice palette it's giving spring vibes uh, it's giving sunset vibes <laughs> so let's move this palette hey <laughs> i got this palette in 2018 when i first started doing makeup but this is not my first eyeshadow palette i'm still gonna show you my first eyeshadow palette so i got this palette in 2018 when i first do, uh, started doing makeup i wanted something so colorful i got it from go kimson park cbd guys Ish, i don't remember the name of the store even so this is how it looks inside so i was so obsessed with this one because i was new to this makeup thing so i didn't want to try all these colorful colors but i wanted a colorful palette <laughs> i don't know so i was obsessed with this one i was a one shadow type of girl like i would just use this one and then that's it so that's why i'm almost hitting the pen on this one but the other ones are still there and i don't want to give it to anybody okay because it reminds me of those days when i first started applying makeup and you know it's just giving memories guys <laughs> it's giving so much nostalgia and i love it so moving to the king of kings this is my first ever eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette guys wanna get to the makeup because of this eyeshadow palette okay i got this eyeshadow palette from this cam by beauty treat yes <laughs> And I loved the fact that it wasn't such a colorful eyeshadow palette and it was just good. It made sense for me as a beginner and I loved it. So I'm just going to open the palette and show you how it looks inside. So this is how it looks. As you can see guys, it's old. It's old. And I don't even remember the last time I used it. So this is how it's looking inside. It has got these neutral not neutral <laughs> these dark colors <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know yeah they are dark right so it has got these dark colors 
and it has got these um powdery shades and it has got this one two glitter not glitter shimmer shades and it has got this cream uh, uh brown what is this concealer <laughs> cream contour <laughs> so i used to use this one for contouring but it didn't then i didn't know how to contour so it didn't make sense so i don't remember what i was doing but the palette was just there and i was using it and i used to love this color as well so yeah this is basically how it's looking so i just cleaned it up it used to look a mess i cleaned it up the other day when i was bored and kept it in here i was like this palette it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere so I'm still going to keep this palette for the longest time, guys, because it just reminds me of those days where I would do makeup, wash it, do makeup again, and wash it for three times and still don't get it right. But I never gave up. <laughs> I never gave up. So this is my first ever eyeshadow palette. So I think we are almost done. Oh no, we're not. Oh, Modelo Una Lady Eyeshadow Palette. I'm such a makeup junkie. What is going on? All right. So I'm going to move on to this one. I got this one from Mr. Price. The reason why I got this eyeshadow palette, guys, to be honest, is because it looked cute. That is the only reason why I bought it. And it was retailing for $79.99. So I was like, oh, well, why not? I'm taking this one. Mara, I don't... I'm not a fan like I'm just not a fan because the shades are so powdery I get more eyeshadow falls when I use it and I just don't like it man I don't like it but it's so cute but home but on this eyeshadow palette Lena it's so cute but anyway let's move to the next the next one I have it's this glitter eyeshadow palette that I also got the same time as I got that one from Hinton Park CBD this one let me show you so I got these two palettes at the same time. And I used to use it, guys, way before I started doing makeup on camera. So, yeah, it's just this glitter shades. Nothing special about it. And also, I'm just going to keep it because I want to keep it. Okay. And then I'm going to move to the next. The next eyeshadow palette that I own is this one. You guys have seen it before on the channel. I got it from... Fushimi and it retails for $69.99. I think they still have it in stock. So it's just a creamy shade. And then I put them both together. This one are your shimmer shades. So they just made sense together. I wish it was something like this. <laughs> or like this. But I had to buy them together. And I've got nothing much to say about them. But the, the, the pigment. The pigment is nice. It's giving. Yeah. That's it. All right, I'm done with eyeshadow palettes. Oh, finally, I'm done with eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm going to move to my uh, contour and my blush palette. Okay, my contour and blushes. Yeah, let me put it that way. So first thing first, let me start with my contour. This is my favorite contour palette of all times. Okay. This is actually the first contour palette I ever owned. Now nah, I didn't know anything about contouring, guys. I would just do my makeup and not contour because it didn't make sense to me. It would ruin my makeup, in fact. So I wouldn't contour. So this is how it's looking inside. And we've hit the pan. We've hit the pan. Can you guys see? So I need to go and stock up. But I don't think I will go and stock up on this one, man. I, I need I need change. And it changed, but it's a nice contour palette, and I was so so obsessed with it. Actually, my heart is sore that I've hit the pen, but it's life, we move, okay. And then a month ago, I went ahead because I knew that I've hit the pen on that one. I went ahead and went to the fix, would I get it? The fix and went to <laughs> I went to clicks and got these. For contouring so I haven't used it because I'm not doing my makeup now so once I start using it or have I used it I don't remember I don't think I used it once I, st once I start using it 
once i start doing my makeup i'm going to come back and show you guys i'm going to use it on camera so i got mine in the shade 360 mocha because i wanted a deep shade for the purpose of contouring done now we move to blushes i have this one and only blush palette from mr price i bought it at the same time as the contour palette and it's a nice one because it gives you different shades of blushes like one two and at the bottom it's giving this highlight um yeah it's giving this highlight i can't see properly when it's on camera i have to turn it this way it's giving this highlight shade over here and this contour shade also over here i think it's yeah it's dark brown so i love the fact that it's versatile you can play around with it you can actually just do your makeup from only this palette you can use this for your eyeshadows and then blush and highlight okay let's move so the second blush that i own or the last yeah the last blush that i own it's from essence cosmetics from clicks i also didn't use i haven't used it it's new i bought it the same time as i bought the eyeshadow palette because as i told you guys i wanted to create a makeup look using essence cosmetics stuff only but that was never a success but i still own these and i'm gonna use it moving now to my Ooh, what is this now yeah let's move to my let me start with this one my highlighters this is my favorite highlight highlighting palette let me see highlighter palette yeah this is my favorite highlighter palette and i got it from essence cosmetics the same time as the um blush thingy that i just showed you now so this is how it looks inside you guys are really familiar with this one you've seen it before and i just love it man i just love it I normally use the male one i don't know why because i could use this one but i love to use this one so it is what it is and i also own this one you guys know this one it's also part of the lungi Tavete and scarlet hill collaboration so this is how it looks inside and i love it also moving to the lashes i got this pair of lashes from mr price i got them in very full on volume and length because i love my lashes to have that volume and to be extra long because my natural lashes are curly and short so that's why i bought this one and this one also you know it it's part of the scarlet uh lungi letter and scarlet collaboration these three one two three four i got them from Mm, from Jobek CBD and Kempton Park CBD like it's just a combo of the three and I've never used these ones Child here. I am thinking I need to buy a new uh, Pair of lashes in a Hanalina. I got this for 11.99 and the volume it's so nice. So yeah, I've used this one before and this one and this one So I am tired of this style. So next time when I do my makeup, I'm gonna use this one But yeah, still I need new lashes we are done with lashes okay yeah we are done with lashes now we're gonna move to the powders these i'm not gonna talk a lot about because it's just my brushes and my beauty blenders this one i haven't even used i bought it because of the shape that's the reason why i bought it but i've never used it so these are my normal ones yeah it's only these ones i need to stock up on these things okay cool now we're gonna move to my powders the first my first favorite powder is this one is it my first favorite powder okay actually i love this one more man mara now i bought it in banana deep half of the time i bought these things i wasn't really into makeup like i am now i didn't know a lot of things back then so I'll just go and buy and then when i get back i'm like Ish, maybe i should have bought a different shade so i bought it in banana deep but it still works because i'm a woman of color and i love it it's from makeup revolution you guys have seen it a lot on my channel so i'm not gonna talk a lot about it and then i'm gonna move to this one you've also seen this one i got it in 
20 nude from essence cosmetics the same time as i bought everything from essence cosmetics i love this one also this one it's new i haven't used it before actually i'm going to shoot another video where i'm showing you guys my new makeup products because there's some makeup products that i want to go and buy so i'll just wait for everything to accumulate and then i'll shoot a video showing you my new favorite makeup products and this one and these will be part of the video and my favorite pressed powder this is my favorite guys you guys know this one so i use it to lock up my makeup and i got it in the shade 350 caramel done we are done we are moving we are moving so this is just my compact mirror and it's dirty okay and this i used to clean my brushes i got it from kempton park cbd for 10 rand <laughs> now i'm gonna move to a setting space yeah. my favorite setting spray of all time is this one i got this one from clicks I buy my makeup products from Clicks or this cam guys. So I got this one from Clicks. I don't remember for how much. And it's um a setting spray from Maybelline. This thing will lock up your makeup, okay? You need this in your makeup kit. Trust me, you do need this in your makeup kit. You just shake, 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 psh, and your makeup will stay in place for the longest of time. Same as this one. This is from Mr. Price. Scarlet Hill Beauty for 60 bucks, guys. It's still in store. Go ahead and get yourself this bottle because you're not going to regret it. And it is price friendly. I am done. I only have two setting sprays. I'm uh, okay. Actually, I take it back. I'm not a makeup junkie because what is this, honey? What is this? <laughs> okay, cool. Now I'm going to move to my primers. My favorite favorite primer it's this one and I don't know why it's my favorite because this primer is for oily skin and I have a dry skin it gives that matte finish but I think the reason why I love it is because it gives a matte finish and I don't like dewy looking makeup I like my makeup to look matte and you know locked up and nice so that is mainly the reason why this one it is my favorite primer the second one is this one from essence cosmetics but at the same time oh i got this one from mr price you guys can see most i bought this one from mr price scarlet hill beauty same time as the setting spray and everything from mr price basically <laughs> and then i got this one from essence cosmetics i don't remember for how much this one retails for but i think they still have it at clicks or discount and it's a nice one it gives that shine it is like it's written shade before you so in a little glitter inside so when you shake it the the solution and the glitters just mix together oh guys they just mix together and gives that shiny look it's it's just nice but it's not like my favorite favorite because of the shine so because of the glitter basically so that's why i prefer this one because it gives that matte finish this one this one is for my dry skin babies i love how my skin feels after applying this primer if it was for me i would basically use this one as my serum guys and go to work or go wherever i want to go like the feel of my skin after applying this primer it's just so amazing so i love this baby skin primer by maybelline i think it retails for 120 at clicks so i got mine from clicks early this year or late last year i don't remember but it's still in stock and it has always been in stock so you can go and get yourself this it's also my like it's this one this one and this one so we are done with primers like done 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 hence i say guys i apologize for calling myself a makeup junkie because i look at the gate of him i'm playing games anyway i'm gonna move now to my favorite part which is my foundations the first foundation to ever be owned by me as Chirofa Precious Lequati, it's this one 
Evelyn Garifedile, about this one when I first started applying makeup back in 2018. Mid, not even mid 2018. I started applying makeup 2018 October, November. That's when I started making, um, applying makeup. And then I went to clicks and got this one. It was 100, not 100, it was 99.99. Yeah, 100 grand. And then now I think it's 125 or so. Mara, back then it used to be 100 grand. And then I got it from clicks. And then I started applying makeup. But then I realized that it's not full coverage. Like I didn't understand what is full coverage, what is light coverage. Now I just went and bought this and then I got home and then I started applying. But then my skin used to be so smooth and so nice. So I didn't mind because I never had like dark spots. So until I started developing some dark spots and then I felt like, no, I need a full coverage. Okay, I need a full coverage. And ever since I'm a full coverage girl, I don't remember the last time I used this. Moving to the next, I have these BB cream from Mr. Price Scarlet Heel. I bought this last year because I shot a video on Instagram. That was way before I joined YouTube. I shot a video on Instagram using Mr. Price makeup products only. And I used this BB cream as a substitute for my foundation. So Mr. Price doesn't have foundations as yet. So they have this BB cream and your primers and stuff like that. So I bought these together with everything that i have from mr price scarlet heel and it retails for 69.99 they still have it in stock but i don't know if they still it still retails for this price but i don't think it would be more so it's in the shade salted caramel so actually everything that i own mostly it's in caramel so yeah and then i have this one you see it's almost it's almost gone guys i love this foundation mara like, I got it in the shade 425 matte, but when I use this foundation, I think my uh, look becomes darker, comes out dark. I think this is dark, man, on me. I don't know, maybe next time, once it's finished, when I buy another one, because I'm definitely going to buy, I will go for a shade a bit lighter than this one. But I love it. It's a full coverage foundation. And it's giving. It's giving. Like Revlon did the things. I love, love this. And it's 170 something at clicks. So, I mean, Calablaga, guys. I'm plugging you, okay? Sharp. So, now we're going to move. I bought this one last year also during lockdown. Or before lockdown. Let me not lie. Because I wanted to try something new. Then I only had this one as my foundation, so I wanted another foundation, so I bought this one and I only used it once or twice or three times or four times, I don't remember. Mara, like, I'm not a fan. I don't know. Oh God, it's orange on me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like it. And I got it in the shade M6W. And I didn't even ask for help or anything. I just went there. I live in land and I put it like this. I was like, this is the one. Mara, it, like, when it oxidizes, my skin tends to be orange. And I hate it. I don't like looking orange. It looks fake. It looks like you bought your foundation from the streets. Or else I bought it from Cliques. So I just, I just don't like the finish of the foundation. And then I have this one. I wanted to buy this one because they said it's a full coverage foundation. Like I went ahead on internet and checked the spec of the foundation because I wanted a full for, uh, full coverage foundation. This one also, it's a lightweight and it's not a full coverage foundation. So like then I was using this one and I wanted a full coverage. So I discovered that this, that this one is not a full coverage. So I had to go and look for one. So I went ahead and checked on the internet. It's full coverage and wara wara. Then, just before I went to buy it, my friend told me that he, she bought it and then she said that um, it's too light for her skin tone. So she gave it to me and then I tried it. It's also light on me, but I have this thing. It's called Makeup Drops. So I got uh, Chelanyana on something, a container, and then drop a few drops of these and then mix it together to give it some pigment you know and then apply it but like now i feel like they scammed me this thing it's not full coverage i only used it once and i've never used it again it's not like it's not full coverage or maybe i should use it with a brush because i used it with the 
uh, beauty blender but still it's not a full coverage so that's why so i'm just gonna talk about these because now i just mentioned it so these i got from essence cosmetics at clicks it's makeup drops if you have a foundation that is bright like it's brighter than your skin tone you can basically go and buy this thing and then mix the two together to get that pigment so i love this thing it's so convenient you just need it in your makeup because these things will fool you like you will get there and find a foundation then when you get to the house it's not what you expected it's brighter it's lighter or you know yeah it's like that now you know when they say save the best for last you guys are very familiar with this and i'm not going to explain the story behind the reason why i own two foundations in different shades you guys know why i own these and you guys know i use the lighter one for um as a concealer <laughs> basically to cover my dark marks under my eyes so this is my foundation it's perfect it's the perfect shade of foundation that i own and i love it and it's full coverage no matter you use a beauty blender or you use a brush it just does the things for me and once i run out i'm definitely going to buy and buy and buy and buy so i love this and you can see the packaging guys outside makeup revolution out get themselves this rose gold color it's giving luxury it's giving clean vibes i love it and i got this from clicks but makeup revolution it's not at all click stores it's only selected click stores so you should bear in mind that when you get to clicks it's not there and you'll be like naki really oh no good clicks yeah oh no good clicks but not all clicks have makeup revolution so just be careful just you know check all the clicks you will end up you know getting one that has makeup revolution products but i would encourage you to go get this foundation as a full coverage foundation and it's 230 if i'm not wrong but nothing more than 300 bucks it's 200 and something Woo! we are almost done so i got these i have this bag it was my mom's bag I could say we now look at Langtamo by Clinique. So now I just took it because it makes sense. So I store a lot of things in here. I have my concealers. You guys, okay, actually, let me just move to concealers now because I spoke about that one. Yeah. So these are my concealers. These are my all time favorite. You guys know these uh, concealers. You guys know how much I love these concealers and I will never stop loving them. These are from Essence Cosmetics. I got them at this cam my favorite one like this is the shade very close to my skin shade it's 70 dark caramel and this one it's 50 warm toast to give that bright finish so this combo boom and then this is one of the new new makeup products that i have so i got this from catrice cosmetics at this cam I got it in the shade. Hmm. What's the name of the shade? 060 Neutral Fuge. I don't know if you guys can see over there. Or should I put it this way? Ah, yeah. So I got it because I was running out. So I wanted something closer to this one. But like I'm still gonna go back and stock up on this one. But I just wanted to try other products. That's how I am. I love change ah so i'm going to go ahead and buy a shade light as compared to this one so i can just have two you know combos and go and stock up on this one and combos <laughs> so this is going to be part of my new makeup products watch out for that video and i have these okay am i done okay i'm done with concealers I have these you guys know this this is my color corrector this is used to hide your dark spots so i have a lot of dark spots you guys know i use this every time i do my makeup but as i said on my beginner friendly video that you shouldn't use this thing if you're going to use a light coverage foundation because this thing is going to show under your foundation and it's not going to look cute so avoid using this if you are going for that natural natural look where you are using a light coverage foundation so i got this from clicks it's 
or clicks or discount it's from la girl cosmetics i don't remember for how much it retails for but there's far not foundations there's um concealers there's a lot of them i'm getting this is a concealer also guys <laughs> Yes, this is a concealer also. So you get this one for covering your dark marks. And then you get the normal shades for like, you know, under eyes and highlighting. And then you get your green one for covering redness. If you have like red pimples or you just have redness in general, you can go for the green one to cover that up. I'm plugging you guys, okay? So go to Clicks or Discam and check it out and get something that is perfect for your skin problems all right so now i'm gonna show you guys this we are done with with concealers so i'm gonna move i'm gonna show you this this is a mascara uh, lash skin bro and lash mascara thingy so i use this to comb up my hair my not my hair child what am i saying to comb up my brows just before i apply my eyebrow pencil so i come them up to give them that shape so I just use this for that basically i got this from clicks by wet and wild and i don't know why i bought it guys because i hardly use this thing i use it when i remember or when i see it so yeah it's one of those things that i honestly don't like i wouldn't encourage someone to buy it because <laughs> why why this video is going to be long i'm just going to cut now so these are the two they call them eyeshadow primers i got them from clicks by la girl cosmetics so i guess i will pull a hurry the guy got clicks but they're still there so the reason why i bought these things is because i wanted to you know i use them to i use them like i apply them here on my waterline if i want black on my waterline or if i want white so the white one the white one it makes your eyes looks bigger as you guys know i have small eyes like my eyes are very very small so i opted for this one as well because sometimes i want that big eyes you know i want my eyes to look to look big and this thing it just does the most so if you want your eyes to look big with your lashes you just apply this on your waterline and it does give the illusion that your eyes are that big even though you know that i mean it's a scam <laughs> all right so these are all the lipsticks that i own i'm not gonna talk about lipsticks because there's a video about all the lips lipsticks that i have so these are all the lipsticks that i own and these are the mascaras that i own so this one i hardly use it because of the applicator i got it from essence cosmetics the same time as i got everything from essence cosmetics i hate the applicator it's so thick and i always mess up my makeup when using this mascara so yeah now it's nice it gives that volume and extra length it ruins my makeup so i went ahead and bought this one from mr price as you can see like i've been using it a lot actually the first okay yeah the first mascara that i bought is this one I wanted to buy this one in black so now when i got there i just saw mascaras and then i picked this one so i did not notice that baby let this thing you see this blue band so this the black one has like a black band and the blue one has a blue so i just picked and then when i got to the house i didn't even open it stupid when i got to the house killed in Tokyo blue hey <laughs> i'm like what on earth is this honey what is this so I went ahead and buy this you see there's a lot of things in here that i really regret buying but this one was an honest mistake it could happen to anyone so just be careful when you get to mr price check the band and pick the black one i mean who uses a blue mascara guys oh okay this is my eyeliners i'm not gonna talk a lot about eyeliners i've explained the reason why i own these two you guys know that i would find it difficult to use this one because of the applicator but now i'm used to using it and i love it and i also love this tattoo one so i'm done i'm done with that yes i'm done and then i use this hair glue guys for my lashes all the time every time i apply lashes i use this hair glue i tried the lash glues that i bought from clicks they don't stick like they don't work my lash would just come out of nowhere so i don't use the lash glues I use this hair glue my friend plugged me on it and ever since i'm always using this thing 
like my lashes just stick properly i can spend the whole day i'm not gonna have any problems so should you wish to 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 try just go get this thing okay i will try to like right now i want to try and get a proper lash glue because i want to film how to apply lashes video but i can't because i'm using this thing and i want to buy something that is going to be accessible to everybody when i say go get it at clicks you know you're gonna get it at clicks because this thing i wanna go clicks you know so that's why i haven't shot that video and then these are all my lipsticks i'm not gonna talk about lipsticks ish this thing i've been looking for it yeah so here it is this thing it smells so good it's just a lip gloss from isis cosmetics and then i have these for my lashes to give them that shape it's just the tool and this is my first ever concealer palette i forgot when i was talking about concealers this is my first ever concealer palette it's it's gone it's finished it's done i got it from this camp also by beauty treats the same time as i bought my first ever eyeshadow palette and then i also wasted my money and bought this thing for 19.99 at mr price this is by scarlet hill it's an what do they call it you know when you want to do like your wing and then some people use this method of applying a cello tape here or like a tape just so you won't create a mess so i bought it for those reasons but i'm not i know how to do it without having to use this thing so i don't know why i bought it i bought it because i wanted to have it but i don't use it because i know how to do it without using this thing and it comes out clean so i wasted my 20 rings anyway inside here i have my razors for trimming my thingy my eyebrows i got this from this other store at kempton park cbd and i have this brow pomade sometimes i use it to like tint my brows i got it from this cam also i love it but i have my days i don't normally use it and i forgot to show you guys this thing when i did the lungile tabete x scarlet hill uh makeup products in ink that video you guys know what i'm talking about i forgot to use this thing guys on that video like, i forgot to use this thing and later on i'm like flip i forgot to use this so i used it some other time later but this is a no for me like this is a no for me because when you apply it let me show you guys it doesn't give that far uh working concealer finish you know it just disappears onto the skin God, like you didn't apply anything so that's the reason why it's a no for me so that's it and then this is these are my first lipsticks i bought these in 2016 but that was way before i started applying makeup i just bought them because then i got the lipstick so this is matte and this is your shine lipstick i bought them from my other friend who was selling avon and yeah so we are done basically this is my tweezer how nice i'm such a gilly girl batum look at this design oh all right and this is my first ever my first ever eyebrow pencil i bought it back in 2018 when i started applying makeup and drawing eyebrows and i used to love it so much i bought it for kempton park cbd this one came to it's my sorry it's my lip gloss lona i bought it got 2018 got this camera like i don't use it anymore so nikki rather this shine glossy lip look mara not anymore so yeah that's why it looks like this it's not clean because i would top up my mat with it and then this is also I've never used this lipstick also from LA Girl Cosmetics from Cleeks and this is a pencil eyeliner also the same thing that happened with the mascara that I bought from Mr. Price is the same thing that happened with this thing because I wanted a brown one like this one for my eyebrows and then I got the I just picked when I go to the house this thing it's shiny brown like glitter brown shiny shiny and I'm like what the heck and then I checked the band when I check the band, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see. Like it's shiny. It's not like proper normal brown. And then this one is my white one. I use it for my waterline also. It's a, it's a liner. And then this is my black one. Yeah. And then 
I don't know what this is. And then this is the normal one that I use every day to draw my brush now. And then that's it. That's it. That's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you had fun. And I hope that you're going to improve your makeup kit. Go to clicks. Go to this cam. Don't buy everything all at once. Because we are babies on a budget. Okay. So buy one by one. And then you're going to see at the end of the year. You're going to have a big box like me but don't buy unnecessary stuff and when you get to the store don't make mistakes like silly mistakes like this just make sure that you check your bands and buy the product that you are looking for the products that you really need and invest also in your foundation if you are a full coverage foundation like me you know the plug now invest in your concealers invest in your powders those are the things that you should invest in because you are going to apply your makeup and spend the rest of the day and you don't want something that is going to cause irritation or to cause skin problems in future. So just make sure that you buy proper products and you are going to look fine. Okay, so this brings us to the end of the video. I really, really enjoyed filming this video. Like I never thought that it would be so much fun to talk about my makeup products without doing makeup. And should you wish to see more of this, as I said that I'm going to shoot a video where I am showing you guys my recent favorite makeup products. So just be on the lookout for that video very soon because I only need a few things, to be honest. I need lashes and a few other stuff that I'm going to show you guys once I have them. So thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you really did enjoy. And also let me know in the comment section what you think about my makeup kit if i'm a makeup junkie or not okay so i'll see you in my next video keep safe and bye guys